Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan and good evening. I'm Jamison Euler. Our top story tonight. The governor suspends Hillsborough's state attorney. The governor appearing with several law enforcement officials to say Andrew Warren was neglecting his duty. Meanwhile, Warren and other prominent Florida Democrats say this is a political stunt. ABC Action News has live team coverage. We begin with Anthony Hill with what Governor DeSantis and Warren had to say today at dueling press conferences. A war of words between the governor and a local state attorney. We don't elect people in one part of the state to have veto power over what the entire state decides on these important issues. The Constitution of Florida has vested the veto power in the governor, not in individual state attorneys. This isn't the governor trying to suspend one elected official. This is the governor trying to overthrow democracy here in Hillsborough County. Suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren fired back at Governor Ron DeSantis Thursday afternoon, just hours after DeSantis announced his suspension. Just based on the governor's track record with unconstitutional orders, I have a feeling that this is going to be just as unconstitutional as the 15-week ban abortion, the anti-protest law, and a dozen other things that the governor signed. The prosecutor, state attorney for this judicial circuit, uh, Andrew Warren, has put himself publicly above the law. In June of 2021, he signed a letter saying that he would not enforce any prohibitions on sex change operations for minors. DeSantis accusing Warren of not following the law, while Warren says he's just doing what he was elected to do, uphold both the state and federal constitutions. If the governor thinks he can do a better job, then he should run for state attorney, not president. There's no sign that this political battle will end anytime soon. When asked how Warren will respond to DeSantis suspending him, he says he just plans on continuing to do his job. In Tampa, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.